orchids grow almost everywhere in the world, although they are mostly associated with the warm and humid tropics, including South Florida. The Sunshine State is home to about 50 native species, but many of them are critically endangered by urban expansion and orchid hunters, says the director of Miami's Fairchild Tropical Botanical Garden, Carl Lewis. Most of those orchids are very difficult to find now. They've, they've been hunted almost to extinction in the wild. So really we launched this project just as an effort to bring those orchids back. The project to grow and plant one million orchid seedlings began two years ago. Orchids primarily grow on trees, but because their seedlings are so delicate, they start their life in the lab. Tiny seeds, no bigger than a grain of dust, grow in sterile bottles with appropriate nutrients. After they germinate, the young plants are transferred to an incubator with LED lights. The next phase is the nursery. It may take up to two years before the plants are strong enough to be attached to trees. Louis says it is important to transplant enough mature orchids so they can continue to reproduce without help from his volunteers. This is supposed to be an infusion just to get so many out there that they start to reproduce on their own. Scientists hope that once they are reintroduced in their natural habitat, the orchids will attract insects and microorganisms not seen in South Florida in decades. They also count on help from local students to keep an eye on the transplanted orchids in their neighborhoods. A number of plants will also be given away to try to reduce the chance people will steal them off the trees. The conservation and study of endangered native plants across the United States is coordinated by the Center for Plant Conservation based in St. Louis, Missouri. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.